Hey, this is Scott at Fire Breathing Christian, and I want you to think about two things. Captain America, make America great again. Captain America, make America great again. Captain America, make America great again. These seem like ideas that would, would kind of go hand in glove, but not necessarily so. As we can see here at an article, in an article uh, posted at Bounding Into Comics, Avengers 4 star Chris Evans rips into Kanye West after wearing a MAGA hat. And he really rips into it to Kanye for Kanye choosing to wear a MAGA hat. I'll read the article a little bit and have a little commentary here. This is kind of interesting. Avengers 4 star and Captain America actor Chris Evans ripped into Kanye West after he, Kanye, wore a Make America Great Again hat on Saturday Night Live and praised President Trump for his trade deal with Mexico and Canada. The nerve, the horror. Praising President Trump for a trade deal with Mexico and Canada. I mean, you can't win. You can't, you know, the wall is, is treated a certain way, the idea of a wall, and then you make a trade deal with Mexico. Can that not even be well received now? No, 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 no. Anyway, the article continues. On Saturday night, Kanye West was the guest musical star on Saturday Night Live where he wore a Make America Great Again hat and criticized the entertainment and news industries. Oh, yeah. Total Russian bot. I mean, if there's one thing we've learned in these first two brief paragraphs in the Bounding Into Comics article, it's that Kanye West is clearly a Russian agent because not only is he praising President Trump, but he is criticizing American entertainment and news industries. And we all know only Russian agents do that, obviously. The article continues. The morning after his performance, the rapper took to Twitter to praise the president for actions on trade, as well as stating that the message was sent with love while saying that the Make America Great Again hat represented good and the country being whole again. Total Russian agent. I mean, no way. Burn this dude at the stake now. Yesterday already. Unfortunately for West, that love didn't seem to translate to Evans. The Avengers 4 star decided to rate Kanye West over the coals, describing his views as, quote, terrifying, end quote. He would even demean Kanye, describing him as, quote, someone who doesn't know history, doesn't read books, and frames their myopia as virtue. Ah, there we have it. So, uh, and then we see some Twitter feed uh, action here from Chris Evans uh, railing against, uh, you know, the whole MAGA thing. Uh, the hat, the infamous hat here. I'll, I'll read through a little bit of this. Here's what Chris had to say. There's nothing more maddening than debating someone who doesn't know history, doesn't read books, and frames their myopia as virtue. The level of unapologetic conjecture I've encountered lately isn't just fr frustrating, it's retrogressive, unprecedented, and absolutely terrifying. Ah, oh, the reaction by Chris Evans isn't surprising. The actor has had a long history of online activism against President Donald Trump. Interestingly enough, he used the same insults against the president that he used against Kanye. Hmm, wow. That's that's interesting. You, I thought the idea is propagated out there uh, that that Hollywood types are creative, yet the, yet the SJW worldview doesn't seem to produce a whole lot of creativity when it comes to interacting with people. They tend to be one-trick ponies who only know how to insult in basically the same ways. It's the basis for attempting to support every argument they make. Ultimately, it boils down to whatever issue you disagree with the SJW narrative on, whatever it is, you're a bigoted Neanderthal racist blankophobe. That, that's it. You're ignorant. You're just an ignorant, drooling vegetable, practically. So the article continues. He told the president, quote, you don't read blank. This criticism came over a simple spelling error on Twitter. He would further go after the president in an interview on es with Esquire. Quote, I feel rage. I feel fury. It's unbelievable. People were just so desperate to hear someone say that someone is to blame. They were just so happy to hear that someone was angry. Hear someone say that Washington sucks. They just want something new without actually understanding. I mean, guys like Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon? This man has no place in politics. Now... With that quote from the Esquire article, which is very interesting, it begins, of course, here with feeling, I feel rage, I feel fury, and feelings are the basis for everything. Their own subjective, mood ring-based reality, this is the normal standard SJW approach to everything. But it is really interesting, shortly after the reference here to his, you know, insulting people as, you don't read books, you're just so ignorant, you don't know history... And, and then he goes on to make to say things like certain people, people that he considers too right wing or whatever he thinks of Steve Bannon. And, and by the way, I'm no Steve Bannon fan. He says th those people have no place in politics. Isn't that interesting? That from the from the forces of tolerance and diversity, 
Uh, this is what you get time and time again is at the end of the day, they really don't believe people who are too stupid, too ignorant to see how brilliant they are really should have any business in politics, be involved. And this is the attitude. If you actually read a history book, you would see that the, the cultural Marxist attitude that uh, treats people, divides people by identity and, and then treats them this way, views them as literally inferiors, un unworthy of participation in a system. Um, it, this is the this is the worldview that leads to mass graves, that government's killing lots of people to keep the, the ones that are left alive in line with the progressive approach to reality. And so that's the kind of thing I thought it was worth pointing out and focusing on here for a little bit. It's important to note, you know, the whole, I thought the contrast uh, between Make America Great Again and the, the guy playing Captain America, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, by the way, I think Chris Evans does a great job. I love him as Captain America. He is excellent. Uh, I do believe... That he's probably a very good guy in a lot of ways, and uh, and I appreciate a lot of what he, what he's done professionally. But th these attitudes, the the arrogance and the condescension, and and really, it seem what seems to be an ironic ignorance of history. While since since he seems to be perpetuating the SJW cultural Marxist lines, that that uh, lead to inevitably and invariably very very dark places and oppression and intolerance and lack of diversity i mean these people ultimately are about uniformity of thought and if you don't share uh, their narrative if you don't conform to their narrative then you must you're, you're just an ignorant buffoon who ultimately if you persist in your ignorance should not be allowed to participate in the system and i thought there was another thing here uh, ah, yes. The, the article features a lot of uh, Chris Evans' Twitter posts, obviously, and a lot of this stuff's pretty, pretty funny in ways that, that he does not intend. But that, you know, when, when you're not, the more clueless you become, the more accidentally humorous you, you also tend to become. And so, but I thought this one was pretty good, where he said, I don't even know what to say. Today was a disgrace. Donald Trump embarrassed America and should be ashamed of himself. Shame on anyone who chooses to ignore Russia's interference in our democracy for the sake of Trump's political well-being. I'm at a complete loss. Yeah, more than you understand, I think. But the point that I wanted to make, and this is one of my, just a pet peeve, and it's such a basic thing, um, this democracy. We do not live in a democracy. This is news to people who've been spoon-fed propaganda by state-run school systems and, and a media that's committed to this idea of democracy. We live in a representative republic. This is not a democracy. Democracy is mob rule. Democracy, pure democracy is, if enough people voted for slavery, you reinstitute slavery. If enough people vote for cannibalism, you, you legalize cannibalism. If enough people vote for gay marriage, you have, oh, wait, well, well, okay. Anyway, so democracy is lunacy and destructive, and the founding fathers knew that better than most and warned against it. Yeah, anyway, so, but you you constantly hear this line from people in uh, mainstream media and, you know, the, the consolidated powers in Hollywood and Washington, D.C. and New York. They're always trying to pitch to us this notion of democracy, as if we get to just literally make our own reality. Nothing, nothing, uh, there are no parameters that you have to operate within. And so I, it's interesting that he's whining about this Russian interference thing, and apparently the Russians are to blame for everything. And obviously, we have established already, Kanye West is clearly a Russian agent. I mean, what else could he be? I mean, you don't, anything wearing a MAGA hat is a Russian agent. Uh, but this idea that the same people who talk about that also harp on democracy, which is such an ignorant, inaccurate, and profoundly inaccurate. It's not like a minor thing. This is not a semantic issue. We're not a democracy. We are not a democracy. We weren't set up to be a democracy. Democracy is mob rule. And yet the arrogant, enlightened, supposedly well-read Chris Evans doesn't seem to know that most basic, fundamental part of, uh, of our, our foundation, just doesn't know it. And so he preaches from a position of ignorance. And, you know, Captain America should know better. I mean, Captain America should know this is not a democracy. And uh, that seems worthy, uh, worthy of just making note. To, to make note of that, you know, keep it in mind. Uh, at the same time, as I've said, big fan of Chris Evans' work. I don't want to be too snarky or jerky about it here. But, man, this is basic stuff that if we don't get right... Um, if we don't write the ship on these these ideas of what our government actually is and what it isn't and how the idea, if you believe in democracy, when you say democracy and you hold that up as some sort of virtuous thing, and then at the same time you're saying some people should not be in the process, well, what does that add up to? What does that add up to? It ain't democracy. It is not democracy. So... A lot of things to think about. So thank you to Captain America for pointing out that you, that you're helping us to realize that 
you don't really have much of a clue as to what's going on here and uh, that you might need to read some of the history books you keep talking about. If you appreciated this video and you want to support what we're doing, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we post a new video, which we're hoping to do regularly on a daily basis from here on out on this subject and related subjects. Thank you very much for your support. Without it, we can't continue to do this.